Hi, welcome to the Greet and Card Critic with me, Jackie Dulcas, your Greet and Card Critic. Do me a favor right now, share this video. Go ahead and share, spread the love because tonight we are having a fiesta. We are reviewing Mexican food cards. Oh, I love Mexican food. I love tacos, burritos, the, the, it's like a vanilla pudding, but it's a cake kind of named after a grandmother. If you know it, write in. I'm dying to know the name. I can't remember. Anyways, Jackie Dukas doesn't usually get political, but I'm going to get political tonight. There is a movement going on in United States that we should be separating Mexican food from American food. And I am in total disagreement of this. There is nothing I love more than when you drive into one of them gas stations that has the holy trinity of fast food. They got a Pizza Hut, they got a KFC, and they got a Taco Bell. It is the unity of all of the flavors and all of the cultures coming together. Because that's America, right? That's America. You usually see these places like across the street from like a dialysis center or um, like a low-income high school. <laughs> Anyways, these are my cards we're featuring tonight on Mexican Food Card Night. So the Greeting Card Critic is all about you loving the world of cards as much as Jackie Dukas does. So I am going to invite you now. Come with me. We are going to go inside the fiesta as we enter the world of Mexican food cards. Here I am going inside the world of Mexican food cards. And Oh, and look at that. I'm feeling so festive. All right, let's go to our first card. I already love it, and I can tell you why. Look at the bright, fun colors. It's got an alcohol drink on it. It's got fruit. Who doesn't like fruit? And it's got a provocative question. Are you ready? Well, you know Jackie Dukas is ready for anything if it involves a margarita. So I guess we should press and find out. Here we go, let's press. Hey! Oh, I love it! Listen to the tune! Tequila! I love it! This is a festive card! Look at the sign, how it lights up. You know, this reminds me of a Mexican food restaurant that I used to go to as a kid. First it was a chicken place, and then the Mexican family took over, so they just put a sombrero on the chicken sign. It was so cute! Let's open it up! Oh, and look, it says, birthday fun is only one picture of margaritas away. Oh, you know that's true. This is the perfect card for somebody that you know, like at your church, that's boring, and they, you know, they need some fun for their birthday. The kind of person who gives this card is, you know, your office alcoholic. You know, his name is Dennis, but everybody calls him like D-Train or D-Money. He hugs you a little bit too long and he cries easily. I'm giving this card an A for alcohol and agave. Dennis, get your act together. All right, let's go now to our second card. It's very colorful. It looks kind of like a Mexican restaurant menu. It's got a little character on it, the triangle. He's actually a nacho chip. He's got a big smile on his face. It says, happy birthday to a guy who is nacho average nephew. Now I'm giving this extra points because I love when cards are specific for a nephew, for a godmother, for my ex-husband. I love when they have the categories. I also love that this triangle is a nacho chip. I love the pun. Let's go inside and see if there's more puns to be had. Inside the card, it says, just in case though you didn't know, another pun, double whammy, I love it. And then you look and the nacho chip has resigned to the fact that he's just gonna be a nacho chip, is relaxing in a bathtub of nacho cheese. The kind of cheese you get like when you order a pretzel from the movie theater. Everybody loves that cheese. I don't even think it's made of cheese, I think it's like chemistry. What I like about this card is it reminds me of a Mexican restaurant menu and it's got double puns. So I'm gonna give this card a B. 
because he's a little scary looking and his eyes look like they'd be googly. But these are flat, they're not really googly eyes. So they kind of cheaped out on that. For that reason alone, I'm gonna give it a B. Let's go to our final card. It's a festive avocado. Everybody loves a festive avocado. If you look up close, it's got only one good eye and one good maraca. You open the card up and it says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Enjoy. It also has a hole in the middle and you can put your hands right through there. This would be a great card for your friend who's religious and likes guacamole. I'm gonna give this card a B, which means we got a tie on Mexican food cards for the first time ever. I'm gonna dance back into the real world. Goodbye, yeah. world of the card. Yeah, fiesta, party. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was so much fun. All right, the votes are overwhelming and they're still coming in. Keep them coming. While they are, I wanna tell you about next week's cod. Let me take another sip. Hang on. Mm. So good. It's going to hurt when it comes out later. This is right here inside my mailbox. Next week's cods are featuring piglets. That's right. The other white meat, pork, pigs, kosher or not, doesn't matter because they're adorable when they're alive and not on a plate. So get ready for that. And now we're tallying up the votes. Donnie, how'd it go? Who lost? Oh, number two, number three, number three lost. <gasps> holy guacamole. Oh, this is sad. Even though he's holy, he's going to get shredded. It's sort of like making a salad because, you know, it's already a vegetable. So everybody, let's say goodbye to the guacamole. Here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye, guacamole. <laughs> it's stuck. It's stuck. <laughs> wow, this guacamole won't die. I think he was touched by Jesus. That's why he's holy. It's like that Bible story, but maybe it's a Mexican Bible story. Like Jesus had one avocado, but somehow everybody got some goddamn guacamole that night. Well, we will have to work on that. In the meantime, share, like, follow, keep voting, keep your comments coming, and get ready for some pigs next week. I'm Jackie Dukas, greeting card critic. I love you as well. All right, let's have some more tequila time. Da-da-da-da-da.